two, four, six, eight. Rock and roll, rock and roll. systems and they didn't want to, they, they had no use for them and I didn't want to see them throw them away so I just started kind of taking people's old computers off their hands for them. Probably around 2000 is when I really got into eBay. Uh, like I never owned an Apple II so I got an Apple II, I got a Commodore 64, I got a Tandy TRS-80, I got, I kind of started to really uh, shift my focus just to the Mac. I actually dedicated the whole basement of my house to displaying them because I think they're gorgeous computers. I think they're worth seeing. So I have most of them set up so that you can get up and actually play with the system. Use an older version of the Mac OS or even a Lisa OS or the Apple II. And actually, and then I kind of took some artistic license and just did some more that are just displayed. So I built the bar out of Classic II computers uh, and just have them run a screensaver. Uh, and uh, I built a wall of iMac so I could display every color of iMac but didn't have to take up the space to put them all on desks. So what we have here is an Apple Lisa. This was pre-Macintosh. Uh, they originally retailed for $10,000 and uh, mainly just a business computer. Here, down here are all classic two computers and I actually painted them white just because they were pretty nasty. Network so that we can do land games of older uh, games. Um, so I can play Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2, Starcraft, uh, Doom. Here we've got the Newtons. It's the uh, first little PDA or one of the first PDAs. Here I've got the 20th anniversary Mac. Sold for $10,000. Apple would actually have a limo deliver it to your house and set up the computer for you if you bought it originally. It's kind of a predecessor to the, the iMac that we have now because it's an all-in-one and it's an LCD. Um, it's got your optical drive in the front, but it also has a built-in TV uh, tuner card and a built-in radio. So, and it's got it comes with a remote similar to the current Macs. Um, so, it was, and it came out in '97, so it was 10 years ahead of its time, really. And I've got my Apple II here. I really like this guy because it's actually in pristine, perfect condition because it's only been used in a collector environment. And I got my iPod collection, which uh, is sporadic. Uh, I'll probably fill in the gaps later once they go down price. And I love the look of a CRT screen without the case on it. No. So here I've chose a uh, kind of robotic um, ASCII character generated woman walking. It's kind of, I guess, a video sculpture, really. Um, but uh, I wouldn't consider myself an artist by any means. What <laughs> is the portable gaming system? It was actually color. Um, I can compete with the Game Boy. Probably don't have batteries in it. Yeah, I don't have batteries in it, unfortunately. But it was uh, it's their color handheld gaming system that came out pretty much when they were right about to go out of business. And um, basically no one bought it because it was huge. So over here I have my next cube. Um, it actually got damaged in shipping, so it was a naked next cube. 
But um, what it runs is uh, what's called Next Step, and it's the predecessor to OS X. So a lot of the stuff that you see now in OS X was first done in, in Next. It's right here. So this is my replica Apple One. Um, doesn't really do much. You can just plug a uh, power supply into it, plug an old keyboard into it, and uh, plug it into a monitor, and then you can kind of type away on that. Now I have pictures posted on my personal website, and it's jeremymurley.com, and also on there you can find my email address and contact me through there.